So, I have a take. I have a take that I'm worried not a lot of people are going to like. And I have a take that I'm even more concerned people might misunderstand, either unintentionally or willfully. So, I feel compelled to clarify myself before we start. And, to be clear, I support the Amazon Union. I think they're doing great work. And I think that every person of good conscience and every person of good reason should support the Amazon unions. Rational people and people of good conscience should support every union. With the notable exception of police unions, which are not regular unions. They're just thugs. That being said... Mm, I don't think that Amazon, the company, is worried about the Amazon unions. Let me explain. So we know from independent journalism, from leaked reports, and from first-hand accounts that Amazon can be charitably described as treating its employees like crap. And that's why they're unionizing, right? Right. They should. But we also know from leaked documents and from first-hand accounts and from independent journalism that Amazon has a stranglehold on local governments, up to and including some state governments. And Amazon's interference with local governments is, as with everything else about Amazon, a dystopic. We know from reporting that Amazon has interfered with the timing of traffic lights in order to stall the formation of a union. And the way I see it, that more or less means that if the union gets too uppity, if they go on strike, if they take over a factory, or even if they start a work slowdown, tin soldiers and Nixons come in. I reason that Amazon is not concerned about the union because it controls the government. And if it controls the government, then it can control the union. But that doesn't explain something really obvious, something you're probably thinking of. But Ron, the Twitter accounts. What about the Twitter accounts and all of their lies? I thought of that. And thinking about that led me to believe what I believe. Those messages, uh, to me at least, did not seem to want to speak to regular people. Regular, ordinary people could tell like that that they were lies. All those dummy accounts, all those bots, and all those lies were to reassure shareholders and investors. And here's what I think, part two. I think this giant AstroTurf campaign that Amazon is pulling I think that it's not there to deceive the public. Such a thing is not really possible. I think it's there to reassure shareholders. I think Amazon is scared out of their wits that shareholders are going to see what is going on with the unions and start making demands on behalf of the unions. Because Amazon can control the government and they can control the union but they cannot control their shareholders. And if that's true, that means we know exactly where to apply pressure. Amazon's shareholders. So we, the public, can find these shareholders and let them know what's happening. And we can ask them to do exactly the thing that Amazon is trying to keep them from doing. Making demands on behalf of the union. And the really cool thing about this AstroTurf campaign that Amazon has been running is that even if it was intended to misinform the public, their shareholders are part of the public. So Amazon has been misinforming them. And if you didn't know, that's illegal. I want to reiterate that I support the people working to unionize at Amazon. In fact, this entire video is me trying to bring forth a new avenue for people to support them. This house that I am living in, this chair that I am sitting in, these roads that are right outside of my door, none of them would exist if it were not for hardworking people. Hardworking people who deserve to be fairly compensated for the work that they do. And every account I have heard is that Amazon employees are not compensated nearly well enough and that they are treated far too poorly. And I am and will remain an ally to all people striving to free themselves from the shackles of oppression. 
including regular ass working people. Especially regular ass working people. So yeah. That's all I have to say about that. I am all said out. I have a longer video talking about not just this, but why it is that people default to lying uh, in the pipeline somewhere. Uh, don't know when that's going to come out. I still haven't got my computer set up, but I got the desk upholstered. That's nice. Uh, yeah, I think that's everything. Yeah, we're going to links are in the description. That's my... Uh, uh, my Twitter, if you want to see what sort of nonsense I'm getting up to on Twitter, that's my curious cat. If you want to send me a question or anonymous harassment, there's all kinds of harassment I get sent. I might screenshot it. And there's also my Ko-Fi, if you think that any of this has been worth supporting financially. Now, I want to impress that I am going to continue making videos as much as I can, whether or not I receive financial support. This is something that's important to me. And even if I have to take time aside to do other things, I'm going to keep at it. But any financial support I receive from doing this would be quite helpful. So, if you have a couple dollars to spare, maybe throw it my way. Yeah. Uh, I don't think I have anything else to say. Uh, until we get to the next one, go out, do something important, and take care of yourselves.